Hi, Jens here. It's time for another digital coffee video. We have now reached video number 5 in the journey to create a digital toolbox for 2019. In this video, we will look at a very interesting source of digital tools. We will, among other, look at an author of a website and a blog that gives us an Excel file with a lot of tools. Tools that you can download and add to your own toolbox today. Video 5 the digital toolbox. As we saw in video 4, we created a two-part plan to train companies in Sweden based on the research done in 2015. Part 1 was Google and the Digital Academy with the goal to train 5,000 companies over 12 months. And part 2 was the Business Sweden seminar Internationalization through Digitalization where we trained 700 companies conducting 20 seminars and 2 webinars over a 6-month period. At each one of those locations, we had witness companies who told us how they had scaled themselves using digital tools. Things have happened since 2016. More startups, more cloud, and more tech. Because we are in 2019, not in 2016. Before we go on and look at new startups, cloud, and tech in future videos, let's take a look at the toolbox of 2019, and I like improved toolboxes, going via 2011. In 2011, we had Office 2010 for PC, and 2011 for Mac. And we are still using the same tools, now in newer versions in 2019, but the core functions are still there. And some of the tools that we may use today existed prior to 2011. Dropbox, founded in 2007. Microsoft SharePoint, the first versions came about 2001, and I've been working with it since 2003. Box 2005, Pipedrive, Salesforce, and so on. So not everything is new, but a lot has happened. Let's take tools for sales and marketing as an example going forward in this video, because sales is the key for any company. And thanks to people like Scott Brinker, who has helpfully collected a lot of tools, you should definitely go and check out his website. We know today there are a lot of tools that we can use for sales and marketing. Scott has done something which is very interesting. He has kept track of the tools available for marketing since 2011. And this was his marketing technology landscape in August 2011. There were about 150 tools listed here. Some of these tools were cloud-based, but many of them you installed locally on a PC or on a server in 2011. So let us fast forward to 2019. How many marketing technology tools do you think are available today? If there was about 150 tools in 2011, how many in May 2018? According to Scott's website, the reports are often released in May each year. So when you see this video, you may head over to Scott's website and check the 2019 report. But the question was here, how many tools do you think we had in May 2018 if we had 150 tools in 2011? What's your guess? Here is the answer over 6,800 tools for marketing technology. And each one of these colored dots you see here is an icon representing a specific tool from a specific company. So 150 tools in 2011 and over 6,800 tools for marketing technology in 2018. Zooming in on CMS and web experience management, we see the tools. We can zoom in on budget and financing and see the tools. And almost all of these tools today are cloud-based, software as a service. So no need to install on a local PC and server, which saves a lot of IT administration for all companies. So they're quite easy to add to your toolbox. Easy to add, you might say, they were just dots on a page. If you go to Scott's website and you sign up for his newsletter, you can actually download an Excel file with all the tools. So this was the end of video 5. Thank you for listening. Hope to see you in video 6. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have now finished my coffee, so I'm off to make the next video. A video that will focus on software as a service. Hope you have a great week.